songwriter, vocalist, a recording artist, many things, composer for theater. Wow, your songs have a life of their own. And we talk about it, the cliche, old cliche is it all begins with the song. But in your section of the book, clearly you're definitely speaking about the song being, I guess, one of the starting points for what any artist has to share, right? What do you talk about in your section? Well, it's interesting. Uh, first of all, this was the hardest thing I've ever written mm -hmm. because there's a lot of books on songwriting. And so the question was, how do I approach this in a unique fashion that people haven't heard from before? And I decided to write it about the way that I approach songwriting. And I think as an artist, the most important thing is really asking yourself, what do I want to say in my music? Who am I? How do I want to have my personality reflected in music? And that takes a little bit of time and a little bit of digging and a little bit of introspective looking. Has the role of the songwriter changed, do you feel, over the last 10, 15, 20 years? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Of course it has. Yeah. First, you have to decide what you are as far as a songwriter. Are you a singer, songwriter, an artist that wants to write your own music? Or are you a songwriter who wants to write for other people and you're a top liner and you go in the studio and work with producers who put tracks together mm. and that's the route you want to go? So mm -hmm. it's very, very different depending on what your discipline is. Yeah, and it has changed. I think it's faster. I think it's more competitive. I think the market is oversaturated. Mm -hmm. Technologically, I think it's a lot easier mm -hmm. as far as putting music down. I still feel and believe the fundamentals of writing beautiful music has to do with learning an instrument and understanding the structure of a song and having a deep, deep knowledge and, and listening to current music and then what I call going knee deep. Go back and study your favorite artists, you know, person they studied and who they studied. Go back three or four generations. We've got YouTube now. It's interesting when you talk about historical reference points because that's come up with some of the other co-authors that you have. Uh, Eric Korn talked about that in the recording process. What should we study? Should we study classic songwriting, the Great American Songbook, pop music? What would you recommend? I definitely think Great American Songbook, and I think based on the style, so if you're really into blues, go all the way back to blues. If you're really into folk, go all the way back to the beginnings of folk music. I do a whole section in the book on the evolution of pop. And I, I go all the way back, actually, the turn of the century up to present time because people don't realize how much in classical music, how much in black slave songs music has evolved to today. So I think having a history, having a knowledge and understanding of where songs come from and where, the, where they're, they're birthed really helps you as a writer. Also, I have a lot of people that are from different parts of the world mm -hmm. ethnically. And I find many people run away from that and they don't really bring in some of the native instruments into the work that they do. And I think incorporate that into your writing, you know, make that part of your tapestry. Terrific. We see, especially in pop music now, um, a lot of collaboration, mm -hmm. a number of, of writers on, on one song. What do you talk about in terms of what to look for with collaborators or how to approach the collaborative world? Wow, collaborative world is interesting. You have to say to yourself, what are my strengths? Mm -hmm. And you have to know who's leading. You know, if you have four or five writers on a song, usually a producer has a track and you bring four or five people in on it. it the artist is most likely in the room with you and they're gonna wanna be part of that writing process. So I would try to find out what they're going through, what the story mm. is, what they want to sing about. Do your homework before you go there. And finding someone who's like-minded. I mean, someone who's going to like your ideas. Sometimes you could have a disaster collaborating. Sometimes it can be fantastic, you know. I say go in with your strengths and, and really read the room and feel it out and listen to what the artist wants. And then just do your best to be there to support that piece of art and not think about yourself. It's not about ego. You got to let go of it. I don't believe we own it. I don't believe it's, you know, I, I do think we should make money at it. Don't yeah. get me wrong. <laughs> but I don't believe that it's something that I think it comes from uh, a conduit place. I think it's something that just goes through us, if that makes sense. Absolutely. The spiritual connection to the song. Yeah. That's very refreshing in this modern world to hear that. It's true. In the middle of the night, I'm, I'm waking up going, oh, I got to go write this down or I have to go sing. I don't know where it comes from. You know, my antenna may be really long and here, you know, I'm picking up some kind of signal and then the, the inspiration happens. Terrific. Well, we hope that uh, Five Star Music Makeover <laughs> inspires people as well. I hope to so, To write too. the songs that are inside of that. Go out and write. That's what I say. <laughs>